a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. All right. Thank you for joining the show. We're blessed and highly favored here in studio at Salem Media, of course, and looking forward to another great show. Thank you so much for supporting the local economy by supporting the local uh, show and expert contributors that we have here on the daily on the Consumer Quarterback Show, powered by the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. We got Derek Usman in studio, attorney Derek Usman, that is Usman Law Firm. We're going to talk about business litigation, uh, recent success stories, operating agreements, and also an interesting uh, case happening with the Supreme Court now dealing with social media uh, companies and and, uh, conservative speech. So it's going to be interesting content here coming up. Also, uh, later on in the program, we got Jason Mears, Florida Best Quote Insurance. He's our expert contributor for all things insurance related. Uh, We want you reaching out to the show hotline if you'd like any uh, introduction. You can reach out at 727-263-3707. Just call or text that show hotline, and we'll put you in touch with any of our expert contributors, attorneys, CPAs, financial advisors, home service providers, uh, all types of self-defense experts, lots of different niches uh, that we can get into there. 727-263-3707. Call or text the hotline. You can also submit an email form directly from the website, consumerqb.com. And I want to remind you about our event coming up. We do a third Thursday event every month. This month, it falls on the 21st, March 21st, 6 o'clock Thursday, over at Brio Tuscan Grill, the official restaurant partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show. Brio Tuscan Grill, International Plaza Mall, excellent food. And we're going to have this happy hour event. It's going to be at 6 o'clock. We're going to, we're going to provide the food. We're going to have appetizers there, food provided. And there's, of course, a cash bar available as well. Great networking and fellowship. Meet some of our radio show personalities this is where you can meet the people that you hear in the show and show up and uh, have conversations and talk about uh, whatever you'd like to get into 2223 northwest shore boulevard tampa brio tuscan grill save the date march 21st thursday six o'clock and that's the consumer quarterback show happy hour and we call it our gratitude party because we're so grateful uh, to have our awesome uh, listening audience and people that support the show and support the real estate company uh, so the Platinum MVP team has a couple of hot listings here. This one's 18522 Gulf Boulevard, Indian Shores, uh, Pinellas County. This is a beachfront property. Have you ever wanted to own your very own beach home, beachfront property? This is it. You're on the sugar sand beaches and dolphin-filled waters of Pinellas County, the Gulf of Mexico. Three bedrooms, three bath, just under 2,000 square feet. This is a beachfront condo in Indian Shores. You have updated kitchen, uh, granite countertops and uh, lots of updates and upgrades three balconies you got a balcony that's looking at the intercoastal waterway there the river uh, essentially that's running through on the right hand side if you look out the left left side that's the gulf of mexico uh, beautiful property right here in tampa bay now two key takeaways from this property number one yes it can be short-term rented it's a vr vr uh, bo property uh, Airbnb property. And secondly, it only has a $250 a month condo fee. So the very low fee, awesome property, 18522 Gulf Boulevard, Unit F, Indian Shores. Another one of our hot real estate listings from the Platinum MVP team, Keller Williams Realty. All right, one more commercial property here, 2907 North Florida Avenue. This is a commercial property, $2.8 million asset, great opportunity, two buildings on site, 30 parking spaces, quarter acre, uh, three quarter acre lot lot close to downtown commercial property so uh, reach out and, and talk to the show we'd love to, if you're a business owner we have a rent replacement program where you can stop paying rent own the building and there's a lot of sba dollars out there andrew qb is our commercial lending expert and he can help you on the lending side of this 2907 north florida avenue in tampa and we would love for you to check out all of our listings at platinum coastal elite.com check out platinum coastal elite Dot com. Hey, I'm my class to those our ass overseas. All right, attorney Derek Usman back in studio. Welcome back, sir. Hi, Brandon. Good to be back. Yeah, man. Good to have you back in. Appreciate that. And, uh, you know, we talk about business litigation. You are a litigator as well. So you actually go into the courtroom. Uh, we talk about the importance of operating agreements. And uh, where do you want to start, man? Well, um, I was thinking about that. We're just kind of winging it. But how about... Um, depositions or trials like um what i was thinking about was the questions like you've heard of leading questions or yes on direct examination and um 
And in depositions, you can basically ask, um, how, you can format the question however which way you want. Uh, leading questions, uh, the definition, the plain definition is, uh, the, the question cannot suggest the answer, like, um, right. was the car red? Right. You, you have to... Um, you, know, you have to just ask them um, what color was the car, like who, what, what, during the direct examination, it's who, what, when, where, why, how. That's that's uh, an exercise, a way to formulate the questions. And in the, but in the, um, in the cross examination, you just want yes or no stuff. It, it just uh, you're allowed to do that. And okay. uh, and just one added uh, thing and. In real life, even though it's prohibited, yep. in real life, you uh, when the judge will give you some leeway, and and if the guy, the uh, opposing attorney, if he objects to every little thing, then he will come across as a little hostile, and uh, it, the jury doesn't look favorably to that. If you're every if for every little thing, you're like, oh, objection, objection. Right. That's interesting. That that's actually intriguing because you you know as as uh, consumers and and lay persons here, uh, we're we're watching TV shows and we're seeing these things play out or movies and you you have this you, know, you know, as you're just saying and and I think it's also intriguing from another standpoint of the power of questions, right? The power of questions. So in other words, in sales, when you ask the right questions, it's going to enable you to move the the prospect. Uh, that potential buyer or seller in my business, real estate, right, closer to where you want them to be. And it's also, if I'm asking open-ended questions, this is part of my negotiation strategy I teach, when I'm asking open-ended questions, most notably how and what questions, how would this, how would we know we're on a successful venture here? How would we know we're on the right track? Uh, or to use a what example, what would a five-star uh, five diamond experience look like for you as a real estate client of mine. So when you're using those open-ended questions, it's it's really a lot of the game is played from a mental standpoint. How can I reach into that brain and touch the amygdala, for example, the portion of the brain that's the you know kind of known as the reptilian per, per, uh, portion of the brain, right? So I, I imagine you know in your training and in your practice, you know, you're able to do that, uh, from a, from a, you know, standpoint of, Hey, I got to move this witness to where I want them to be. Yes, sir. Because it's a uncomfortable situation. It, when you're in trial, I'm, I'm there and I even have to be spontaneous and go with the flow. You re you can only rehearse it so much. Exactly. But the witness, or is um, that's maybe once in a lifetime deal for them. Exactly. And then, besides that, uh, if it's a jury trial, you have the jury box and you have the dozen jurors, and they need to have all the information. Yeah, that, that's that's it. It really is intriguing when you look at that, because a lot of the, you know, kind of backing up too, when you look at. A lot of these different lawsuits, a lot of, especially in personal injury, I hear uh, there's more of a um, an opportunity or even a push to settle out of court. Uh, do you see that in, in business litigation as well? I do, cause, because most things do not go to trial. Uh, they usually settle beforehand, because even at the trial level, there's a lot of steps. Um, you have to negotiate the jury instructions. You can't just say that, hey, we have a jury trial is scheduled on Monday. Before that, you have the jury instructions. You have uh, the exhibits that you have to exchange. You have to uh, bring in the witness list. So that is very time-consuming and an expensive part of, um, of the whole process. And, um, and therefore, it's uh, conducive to all parties to have it resolved beforehand. Right. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, it's it's really a risk when you go to the the trial. And even if you, you know, I've heard it said, too, when you go to court, you go to trial, it's kind of like a it's kind of like a, a you know, a guessing game of who's going to win. Right. It's really it takes a lot of the control out of, of the in, in other words, pre-negotiation. You can say, hey, look, this is the number we're fine with or this is the number I'm willing to, you know, compromise is a big word you hear in negotiations. But when you go to trial, it, it really is like, hey, what you never know what could happen. Right. That's right. Uh, just it's almost like the game, like the Super Bowl, like the wide right for the game. Yeah. <laughs> the um, the 
field goal. Like, who misses that? That was like almost a chip shot, more or less. Yep. It can happen. And uh, however, yeah, in a, with the jury and the judge, you you it's very unpredictable. And uh, to minimize that risk, uh, that's another reason not to uh, go to trial. Yeah, very interesting. If you just joined us, folks, we're talking with attorney Derek Usman, uh, Usman Law Firm right here in Tampa Bay, local attorney uh, here in, uh, of course, the Tampa Bay market. Uh, talk to me a little bit about operating agreements. I think a lot of times when people go into business together, they'll have, you know, a friend that maybe has a complimentary skill set, or maybe this person has the money. I've got the trade background. Uh, we're going to start a HVAC company or whatever it might be. Right. Uh, but operating agreements are a key determinant of that future success of that business or that venture. Correct. Correct. The, um, the operating agreement, because sometimes one guy is the is the brains or or the muscle he's the brains or the muscle and he does the work it's the services he provides he his share of the profits or his initial contribution i should say is uh the services and the other person provides the capital so he might be like hey i'll i'll put in my money and you put in you, you do the work exactly and how do you divide that up and how do you calculate it and what's an equitable amount so that has to be spelled out in an operating yeah, yeah, exactly. And then you also look at contingency plans. Hey, if we get a couple years down the road or, or time frame, and we decide to part ways, do, do you outline that in the operating agreement, like an exit strategy as well? Correct, correct. And that comes into play with uh, that it, to give you a, a more complicated scenario is where what if um, someone gets divorced? Yes. And then who has the the ownership rights and uh, do you split up the shares if you're 50 mm. 50 and the guy with one of the partners the 50 percent partner uh gets divorced then does that 50 gets further split and then your partner is uh, now the ex-wife right yeah that could be a challenging situation i imagine sure, sure. <laughs> yeah um uh, talk to us a little bit about you know, I, I, you know, I love the idea of, of seeing what could potentially happen and then figure out a way, hey, let me not set track. Let me not set sail on that same course. Let me try to avoid the issues. What if, if you if you had to say kind of boil down all your experience and, you know, some of the so I'm looking for consumer advocate tips. What, what would be a tip, an example uh, when it comes to business litigation, uh, operating agreements and just general success in business? What, what would be some ideas you may have there? Okay. Uh, besides the, of course, the get it in writing is yeah. is, is to um, communicate with um, your partners. Like try to uh, just any you just like any conflict uh, you with your spouse. You you have to just have an open, um, uh, just open communication with them, yeah. and uh, and just be transparent. If you're if you're making any sort of um, agreements with third parties, make sure they're aware of it and just talk to them. Like, Good don't be like, Hey, I, I just got into a deal. I, it, we, by the way, we just, um, I'm, we're going to fix up this property, but um, right. I, I was going to tell you, and that, that's, that's where that money went. Like if, if, if your partner sees the credit card bill with the expenses and they're wondering where, where did, what, what is all this? Like, and then there's no misunderstanding and, uh, and yeah, uh, the trust is there. Right. Yeah. Good point. Communication is key in, in any relationship, business, uh, marriages, uh, listing clients. By the way, that's the number one complaint that real estate get real, real estate clients have of agents is that, you know, hey, this agent took my listing or they showed my listing and I didn't get any feedback. You know, it's communication is so key in business and life in general, making sure you communicate and, and setting expectations. Correct. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Cause you, you don't want any misunderstandings that it, it's we're talking and we, we, we might have a misunderstanding from them. Like you were up what in one of your, um, uh, listings, there's a monthly fee and, uh, uh for a HOA monthly fee. And right. I might not, what was it quarterly or monthly? I, I'm not sure, but I, I, I should just ask you like, Oh, exactly. Like the, uh, the, there's no stupid questions that, exactly. that kind of like you, just want to clear it, clear the air. And like in, in, in court, you, you, or, or with the opposing counsel, you ask those questions because they lead to other things. Just that questions can, uh, 
clarify other matters. Sure, absolutely. All right, let's take a quick break there. When we come back, I want to jump into the Supreme Court case. Uh, Florida and Texas are going against, in a sense, these social media companies because we've all seen or heard, uh, it's happened to us, it's happened to me, uh, shadow banning happening, and it tends to be more conservative speech that tends to show up uh, in in those scenarios where you have that. So uh, we're going to play that clip, talk a little bit about that when we come back more with attorney Derek Usman here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Uh, Follow us online. We'd love to connect with you at Brandon Rhymes one at CQB Show. And please do us a favor. Go to the YouTube and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll be right back. Thanks for listening to my daddy's show. Please make sure to send him all of your real estate deals and subscribe to the Consumer Quarterback Show podcast on iTunes and Spotify or check out our YouTube channel. Have a blessed day. To get in touch with Brandon, call Call 727-263-3707 online at ConsumerQB.com. Dennis Prager here for Brandon and Lindsey Rhymes, owners of the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams. Buying, selling, investing in real estate, their nationwide Keller Williams network makes them the best team to work with. Sellers have your property featured live on air, creating multiple offers. Buyers leverage a unique system that gets your offer accepted, never overlooked. Call or text 813-750-0550, 813-750-0550 or ConsumerQB.com. I want to give a special thanks to Satellite Phone Store. They just hooked me up with this beautiful satellite phone, and it's a gorgeous phone. It's a great device. It's a safety device as well. Think about it. If you're out on the boat 40, 50 miles out, maybe you're going hunting or you're going hiking in the woods somewhere, you run out of cell phone service, or who knows, maybe a possible terrorist attack. It's not like our politicians aren't entrenched in all this stuff going on overseas, all over the place, all over the world. Could be a terrorist attack. They could attack the power grid. They could attack the cell phones. Who knows what they're going to attack next. Satellite. Sat123.com forward slash R-E-Q-B. Sat for satellite. Sat123.com forward slash R-E-Q-B like real estate quarterback. You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-917-1894. And we're back. Brandon Rhymes here in studio with attorney Derek Usman, Usman Law Firm right here in Tampa Bay. Support the local economy by supporting the Consumer Quarterback Show and all of our expert contributors. Greatly appreciate those that do uh, support the program here as well. A quick shout out to the Bill Maher Beach Resort, the official hotel partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show. The beautiful Bill Maher Beach Resort. Treasure Island, Florida. Say hello to Clyde Smith, general manager down there. Let him know the real estate quarterback sent you. Take him up on those special offers and incentives. Book directly at BillMarBeachResort.com. BillMarBeachResort.com. All right, we got a, one property listing for this segment, 300 6th Street North. This one's in Safety Harbor. Uh, what we have here is a... Uh, A complex that has only, I think, 13 units in this complex. 300 6th Street North. This is unit number six. Uh, Two bedrooms, one and a half bath, 924 square feet. You have an open floor plan, uh, fenced-in private backyard and and a patio. Uh, You have a living room with built-in shelves. Now, what I love about the view when you look out back is you have kind of a a woodsy view, a forest almost back there. Beautiful oak trees. You've got a canal running through, uh, so it's a waterfront condo in Safety Harbor. You're just minutes from Main Street. Beautiful property right here in Tampa Bay, surrounded by great schools and, of course, the uh, the spa downtown. Lots of great restaurants. 300 6th Street North, Unit 6, Safety Harbor. And you can see all of our listings at PlatinumCoastalElite.com. Check out PlatinumCoastalElite.com. Somewhere funny. Okay, so we got attorney Derek Usman here, Usman Law Firm right here in Tampa Bay, talking about business litigation, trials, operating agreements, uh, as well as recent success stories. Uh, I want to play this clip because this one uh, was kind of interesting. I, I listened to a lot of podcasts during the week. I try to keep a handle on what's going on with the news. And uh, as you know, a lot of news organizations are losing their websites, uh, uh, views. A lot of the, the, the traditional views are going down on traditional media, and, and people are getting their information from podcasts. Uh, so here's one I came across, very interesting. So I thought I'd play it here. The Supreme Court is weighing whether to uphold laws in Florida and Texas, which would restrict the ability of social media companies to moderate content. 
Florida and Texas claim that much of the content getting flagged is conservative speech. So several platforms like Facebook and YouTube claim the laws infringe upon their First Amendment rights by restricting the content they wish to publish. These laws were drafted back in 2021 after several social platforms banned former President Donald Trump following the events of January 6th. Florida's law seeks to prevent companies from restricting or banning public figures running for office while also clamping down on shadow banning. The Texas law similarly prevents platforms from banning users based on the views they express. Each law requires the companies to disclose their moderation policies. Here's Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody. Two years ago, really saw what was happening, this new reality that we find ourselves, which is these large, very powerful social media companies that have created the new town square and invite everyone to come to the town square. But then without you knowing, without fully disclosing, without telling you how they're doing it, they're shadow banning people or deplatforming or make- yeah, It's absolutely ridiculous what's happening. And I, I agree wholeheartedly with Ashley Moody, the attorney general for the state of Florida there, uh, Derek. I agree, you know, what she's saying. I mean, essentially they're saying, hey, here's a town square, but yet we're gonna hide certain things. We're gonna highlight certain things. We're gonna shadow ban certain things. And it's all based on what we uh, deem appropriate or we deem hate speech. And you, you're talking about moderating content. So it's a challenging situation where you have these, I mean, how big is Facebook, right? Multi-billion dollar companies uh, in, in across the globe with billions of users uh, that are that are basically saying, hey, you know, and, and it tends to be one way, right? It's conservatives that get that are getting throttled down. It's, you know, taking president, a former president off of your platform. Uh, what's your thoughts around this whole social media stuff? Yeah, Brandon. Uh, yeah, I, I have a little bit of familiarity with that because uh, the social media companies, they are uh, not subject to a, uh, rules that are applicable to newspapers or TV channels. And uh, that allows them to ma manipulate um, these um, their content. They're basically manipulating their content and now they're using ai artificial intelligence mm. to uh, do so at a greater level and at a larger scale and these are l large multi-billion dollar companies and like with any other company part of business is that you take risks and you uh you avoid certain risks and these guys are not able to uh, be held accountable because they are uh, exempt and immune from certain rules. Yeah. So they can just get away with it and they can't be sued for any, um, like, con there's, uh, sorry, there's a thing about, um, like, two main civil things are contracts and torts. Torts are defamation or, um, 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 or uh, other torts, uh, like negligence. And, yep. uh, and therefore, there are, Im they have immunity from all these rules. And uh, right, and these states uh, take the lead on our our state and Texas take the lead on these matters. Yeah, thank God. You know, Ashley Moody and, and shout out to Ken Paxson over there. He's taking on Google as well with some of the stuff that Google does, almost a monopoly in a sense. I think they need to be broken up. Uh, we're out of time here, Derek. How do you want people to connect with you, my friend? Okay, um, my phone number is 813-377-1197, or you can email me at Derek at usmanfirm.com. D-E-R-E-K at usmanfirm.com. usmanfirm.com, 813-377-1197. That's a direct dial for Derek Usman, attorney Derek Usman on the Consumer Quarterback Show, 813-377-1197. And you can also email him as well. Derek, thanks again, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me, Brandon. My pleasure. Uh, yeah, excellent stuff there with attorney Derek Usman. Uh, coming up, we're going to talk insurance with Jason Mears, Florida best quote insurance here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. The insurance industry is in uh, somewhat of a tough shape. We're going to talk about the latest developments with Jason coming up here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Hey, this is Grant Cardone, and you've been listening to the phenomenal Brandon Rhymes, the Consumer Quarterback Show. To get into it.